Can't punch you that. Sure. I mean, that's kind of stating the obvious there, D-Led. Uh, it's probably a difference in the game. Uh, you know, we get the ball, open and kick off. Uh, you know, didn't punch it in. Thought you got in with Patterson. Uh, credit to them. They stopped us. So, we still had our chances. We had another short field. Only came away with three. Uh, and again, we didn't do a good enough job in situational football. On the first one, you had a play action and then a run and then a, uh, another pass outside. You talking about the start of the game? Yes, sir. So you're not considering the run? It went run. Yeah, Pat, run. yeah the I first play was run that got uh, that uh, scored that got overturned. Yeah. Yep. And then went play action, then went run, and then went pass again. So that's pretty much. Is that what you're asking? Oh, no, I guess I'm more asking, did you consider running some power there instead of those pass plays? We consider everything. Do you we, we you go in there and game plan? You're always looking for, for an advantage. What do you think of an advantage? Obviously, it comes down to execution, and the defense has a say as well. So, um, you know, we'll continue to look at everything, D-Led. And that's just, you know, you're OK to uh, get the ball to start the, uh, the second half, got a chance to sure. move it. Yeah, one play action. They, they Again, credit to them. They, they made a play inside, got pressure in the middle of the pocket, took a sack, got some back, and then obviously the third down. Uh, had the look we, we wanted, and they made and Bosa, you know, got moved off the spot. And on the second half from the rush, Bosa got in there and got the sack fumble. And that was a huge momentum at the start of the second half. Arthur, what do you think is reflective of that uh, you, you have short yard situations three times in the red zone and don't score? What is well, it's a couple things. I mean, the one early on when you're in goal line offense, right? You try to punch it in, think you're in, you're not. So you come back, try to get them to, because there's you know, to play over aggressive, something we saw. Um, obviously, they they did a nice job covering it. Same thing. The guy up front made a play, moved us back, and then on third down, again we didn't have time to progress the back side. That was kind of a, a couple of times we had guys wide open, and they got a really good uh, rush front. And so, if you get the quarterback off the spot, it's hard to get to the second read. So that happened a few times. Uh, the one down there, you talk about the the pitch. You know, when those when they don't work, it looks pretty. Not not uh, not great, but you know there's a lot of logistical things that go in there. Things that we set up before, you know, you can go in there and sneak. You get a certain look. You may package things. It, it all comes into play. Uh, clearly, we didn't do a good enough job executing it, though. And the overall inability to run the ball today, how much did that? Uh, sure. Yeah. You know, I mean, th th we they did a nice job. They made a commitment. You know, we we've been running the ball pretty well. Uh, they bowed their neck. I thought there was a difference in the game. They ran it. We didn't. Um, you know, we found other ways to move the football. We were able to get some chunk plays in the second half. And that's a credit to our guys that kept swinging. Obviously, the score, you know, they, they bowed up down in the red zone. So you come away with only 13 points. Did you have to change your plan at some point because of the rush? Because you just couldn't think No, I mean, it's more possessions when you're down. And, and again, you got to, it's a fine line when you're playing a front like that. Where you just, you don't want to sit back there and be a sitting duck. So, uh, you know, we hit hit some very deep shots. You know, guys guys stepped up. Matt hung in there. We made plays down the field, but we didn't make the the critical plays down in the red zone. And that was the difference in the game. I know uh, something that you talked about recently is being able to play smarter football. I know early in the game there were a few false starts that I'm sure you all would want back. I mean, when, do you feel as though there was a step taken back in that regard? Of playing I don't think it's a second step taken back. I mean, you regroup and refocus if it's something that had been. You know, I didn't like the way we started it. I mean, you give an advantage right there. So, um, you know, a couple of logistical things that we got cleaned up. You know, maybe the crowd affected us more than, than you know, we anticipated. And just we got to be a little bit cleaner there. Don't like, don't like wasting the timeouts. But we rallied on the sideline, and you, that's what coaching is. And the players credit the players. So you, you calm down, you adjust. Uh, obviously, the turnover was a big turning point in the third quarter. And then, not getting it on three, four downs in a red zone. I mean, that's, you'd like to say you come up with 21 points, but you don't. And so hats off to them. Defensively, what role do you feel like explosive plays played in this game? Well, I, yeah, I mean, we had explosive plays too. I mean, it was a way that they were able to, to run the football that kept them on balance. And, you know, they hit some quick hitters. Uh, they, you know, they had a quick game for a big play. They hit some off the, off the play pass as well, but they, they got in a pretty good rhythm uh, running the football. 
Arthur, kind of following up on what Steve was asking you about, you guys had seven plays today where you needed one yard for either a first down or a touchdown. You guys converted one of those in that quarterback sneak. Does that tell you anything big picture about this team? I think it's more this game. I mean, you know, the easy narrative is to write, you know, these dramatic stories about big picture, but every game's their own story. So it's been like that some weeks. Um, you know, it's uh, for multiple reasons. It's never just one reason why something doesn't work. Obviously, when you get blown up, if it's a negative play, yeah, obviously you consider hindsight's twenty twenty. But those are easy narratives. I mean, the truth is, we this team has continued to, to get better, they continue to compete, and the credit to San Francisco, they had a say in it, and they stopped us in the red zone. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he goes in there and battles. All our guys do. Those receivers, they, they battle. Uh, I thought Kyle stepped up, made some big plays, made some tough catches. He's continued to, to improve. Uh, like I said, you get down there. That's why sometimes the explosive plays can, can be a misnomer. Because uh, you know, at the end of the day, it came down to situational football, and we didn't punch it in there. Did you see the Patterson score that was overturned? Yeah, I mean, I've got a opinion, but clearly that you know they saw something they did, so they overturned it. From a momentum standpoint, do you think things are different if you punch it in there? Obviously you score There's so much football. It, it certainly helps. You know, you, you feel feel good about it. You feel like you stole a possession. I mean they lost the ball on a return to start that start the game. Uh, so yeah, obviously you'd like to be able to punch it in and we came away with nothing. So do you feel the need to address your guys about the end of the season? Your playoff chances have really shortened you address that with them and say we want to close strong anyway, or how do you approach that? We're going to compete every game. So you just keep swinging. A lot of crazy things have happened in the NFL. So we'll try to win the next one. Win one at home and, and just keep chipping away and see what, see what happens. Because there's a lot of things that what it looks like today, that's not how it's going to look like after week 18. You guys that have covered this, this league a long time, you guys know that. Usually the last week of the season, you just want to have a mathematical chance. Crazier things have happened.